Here's a quick run through of how you can make different automations in ManyChat for your social media. So uh, a quick overview of ManyChat is that you can actually respond to DMs, story replies, uh, first time DMs, specific keywords and a lot more things. So it's a messaging automation tool that you can use for your Instagram, WhatsApp, whatever that you have. You can also try AI Sensei for WhatsApp. A lot of people use that for WhatsApp. You can use chatbots powered by intercom, first chat, chat base, site GPT, many, many more things. So chatbot DM marketing is very, very important. And if you can automate this, then this is a beautiful, this is an amazing thing. So see how we have 3,900 contacts and they probably have messaged us again and again. So for example, if we convert even 10% from this, this was all automated. We did not message them anything. So you can sign up on ManyShare, you go to automations and you can make different kind of automations. We, let's go to new automation. Let's see what different things that they have. And then you can also use templates that they you know, already have. Uh, there are four different kind of automations that every business should have. So first is the story reply. If anybody replies to your story, you can uh, you know, have a human-like uh, message for them that, oh, thank you for replying for my story. And here's a couple of things that you can check out. Second is that if somebody messages you the first time, you know, so you haven't interacted with them, they message you the first time asking, okay, how do you enroll in this course? You can have a simple automation in which you give them three different options and then they can explore. Third type of automation is if someone tags you in a story and you can just say, hey, thanks for tagging me. How can I help you? You know, blah, blah, blah. And thank you for being an amazing customer. You can also do all sorts of things with emails, capture customer data, all these things, send them to WhatsApp, blah, 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 and, you know, many more things. So, yeah, you can check out all these templates, whatever you think is helpful for you. Uh, in general, uh, you can also just do start from scratch. You can add multiple messages too, which a lot of people do. So, for example, if somebody comments on your reel, you can specify what post or reel, let's say this one. We can we, you can also select all so let's do all and then you can add a keyword if you want to add a keyword so if they comment something xyz you can send them uh you know a specific thing you can also do it for all any comment and then you can uh add multiple replies blah 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 and then the best thing is what message do you send what message do you send uh so you can send you know whatever hey thanks for checking this out and you can add a button you can also go above and beyond by actually, uh, you know, having different messages for different categories, right? And then you can set up notifications as to, okay, what are people responding uh, best to? And then change your automation. So you will see automations here. We have a bunch of them. So let's say 170 runs, 380 runs, 470 for all reels. And then, you know, we have uh, a few things. So for example, story message, I'll show you. It is a simple so user clicks on uh, a story they, and then we just send them this and a simple photo by saying all courses are 80% off and then blah, 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 and like whatever. So this is a very, very quick overview of ManyChat and I think you should use it. It's very helpful. A lot of uh, companies are actually using it. I am going to keep sharing uh, whatever we learn. But yeah, go through the basic, go through sequencing. Sequencing is helpful if you want to send them a bunch of uh, sequences. But even if you have one message, I think that's totally fine for majority of the use cases. So yeah, go check this out. Check many chat out. I think it's a pretty useful tool for AI automations. Let me know how it goes. Let's go over some automations in Make. I think I've already made some uh, a few videos on what to actually uh, do. What is Make.com? You should check out the other videos. But Make.com is basically a Zapier alternative. If you've heard of Zapier, that's an automation tool. Automation basically means you're combining a few different things and doing thing, you know, not doing things manually. So Zapier was one of the uh, first companies in it and is a public uh, open source alternative for this. So you can host it for free. You know, you can go to GitHub, you can download the code, you can run it and they have all the different integrations that you have. Behind the scene, this is basically just using different APIs. So you want to connect GitHub to Slack, to Google Sheets, to Airtable, to let's say, uh, you know, email and then RSS feeds and a bunch of like 100 different things. Those are basically calling different APIs with different connections. So all in all, this is an API stuff that you can actually build it out yourself if you have time and if you have specific, you know, needs. But overall, I think make.com makes it very useful. Zapier is also very, very uh, easy to use. You can connect a bunch of tools. 
I would suggest Zapier if you only have two or three apps to connect. So, you know, use Zapier if you want to send email on some things and uh, XYZ on something. But make.com actually goes a step further in which you have something called the router and everything. So what you can actually do is you can have uh, something called the router. So let's say you are getting data from RSS feeds or let's say your form. So let's say we have a Zoho form. You can also use Google Sheets, whatever you want. What we can actually do is we can create a router here and we can do multiple things with the same thing. So it's a little bit more intuitive to use. So let's say you want to make a post here. Let's say you want to send an email here. You can do that, right? You can uh, send an email. Uh, you just have to connect these and you're going to be fine. So what you can do is you can create social media posts. You can send email. You can send WhatsApp and, you know, all the amazing things that you can do. Uh, you can notify your team in Slack. You can do a bunch of things. So first important thing in make.com is the router. You have to understand the router. Now let's talk about the conditions in router. So what is actually important is, so let's say you get, uh, you're watching events. So we are watching for WhatsApp messages. We create a router and we can add conditions to this. So if you click on this, then you can add a condition. You can say, you know, whatever field, or let's say you pass this through chat GPT first. So let's do one thing. Uh, let's delete this and let's, let's delete these. And let's have a chat GPT module. So if you have chat GPT over here, so we say we see a message, we pass the chat, GPT, we pass it to chat GPT, chat GPT responds as something and then we create a router. What we can do is we can add a condition, which is if the result is equal to one, then we want to do something. So we can instruct the chat GPT over here and say, hey, can you, uh, you know, basically let me move this actually. So we can instruct chat GPT and say, hey, can you only return me one, two and three? So it will only return one, two, and three. So you can do one, two, three based on this. So one is this, two is this, and then three is this, and then four is that. So you can use this for lead generation, for example, right? So let's say you have a study abroad platform. We say, I'm giving you a message, classify this as category of one, two, four. First is they are a rich client. Second is that they are, they are a mediocre client. Third is they don't have any money. Fourth is they're broke. So you need to have different plans. So what it can do is it can send a personalized email. So what we can do is, uh, instead of this, we send an email, which is, you know, something X, Y, Z. We send an email based on one. We send an email based on two. Again, this can also be done with code. You, if you know how to write assistance API, ChatGPT API, this is very, very fast. And you can do this with code too. Instead of this, you can also go to Python and basically pretty much copy paste this and say, okay, Claude, you go to Claude and you say, hey, write me an automation script. Write me, write me an automation script to send emails based on WhatsApp messages in Python. And then you can deploy this very quickly with Flask, Heroku and all these things. So again, there's multiple solutions that you can do. There's multiple things that you can do. So if you are a coder, it makes it hundred times easier. If you are not a coder, then definitely keep using make. And I'm going to keep sharing all these amazing automations. So yeah, this is one of the automations that I have used. There's another one which, uh, you know, people use social media, obviously automation. So you get data from anywhere. Let's say you're getting data from RSS, you're watching, and then you create a router. Uh, you go through chat GPT, and then you create a router, uh, or you can create a social media, or you create a router for Twitter, uh, so Twitter, uh, and then uh, Facebook and blah, 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 blah. So yeah, there's many, many different use cases. I'm going to keep sharing uh, everything with you. Hopefully you're going to like it, enjoy it. And yeah, make.com for you. We're going to talk about a lot about automations, coding, Python, scripting, pretty much everything that